I just got back. Um, I just got back from a club, so I can't hear what I'm saying very much. But I need to do a tutorial because I haven't done one in a while, and I've got back from holiday, so this is going to be my first one. Now, what we're doing is we're creating a cool storm inside of Toon Boom Studio, a lovely piece of software that I really like. Now, I downloaded the demo for. Um, I don't think I have it anymore. Um, no, I don't. To oh. Right, never mind. I downloaded the demo for um, for Toon Boom Studio Five, and I didn't like it very much. They've made it very kiddie. I think this looks professional. This looks um, good. Um, there's just something about this user interface that I really like. I think it's very cool, and it looks it looks professional. Um, whereas the new one looks all kiddie, it's got like pirate maps, it's got all bright colours everywhere, it just doesn't look like a piece of equipped software, whereas it really is pretty good. However, it does have stop motion, which I think is a really cool addition. Okay, so first off, we're going to draw some clouds. Um, so you can spend this, I'm just going to do this quickly, and I'm also using a mouse instead of my tablet, so... Um, if you come down here, you see where it says smoothness for clouds, you want to turn it up quite high, so I'm going to put it at 8. Um, click this icon, adds a new drawing element. I'm going to draw another cloud. And you know where we put the smoothness up? It will then make it really smooth, like that. Hit this icon again. Now I'm just going to do 4. But you can do as many as you like until you think it looks good. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing what I'm about to do. I'm just going to do it 2D, but later on I'll do a tutorial that shows you how to organize it in 3D. This is a 3D view. But I'm just going to do it in two dimensions. So we're going to color in these. Um, clouds. Double click this color to change it. I'm going to make a gradient. Um, double click the second color. I'm going to make it like a dark color. Double click the first color. It's going to be like a, a bluey pale blue colour, just like that. Close that, so now we've got this gradient, but as you can see, it's pointing at a direction that, oh wow, oh my god, my screen just got unbelievably bright. Um, it's at a brightness that, well sorry, it's at an angle that we don't want, so what we can do, hold down shift, select all of our drawings, grab our transformed, sorry, our Select tool and rotate them. Like that. I'm drawing full, the fill bucket. Fantastic. Now, grab this, shift, select them all again, rotate, and now we've got some clouds. Now we just want to organize these a bit. Use the Z key to zoom out, hold down the space bar to move around. Um, now, number four. Put it over here, grab, choose the transform tool, hold down shift, select these drawings, um, right click on one of the cells, press extend exposure, we're going to do to frame 100. Okay. Go to the frame 100, grab drawing 4. Put it to there, go back to frame one, 
I'm going to move it over here. Now, as you can see, we've now got an animation where it just moves over. Actually, I tell you what, I don't want it to go off the screen. Um, drawing three. And what we're going to do is just do them moving different directions. This one will move in the same direction, but at a different speed. Grab drawing two. And move it in the opposite direction. Drawing one. Move that over. So now, as you can see, we've got like this cool animation thingy. If we grab our selector, shift, select them all, move them up, it won't change the keyframes. So you can see it like that. You can move them up a little bit more, like that. Now I'm going to just add a sky. Now I'm just going to. You can do a gradient again, but my sky is simply just going to be a. Um, sorry, my sky is just going to be a square. Now click the icon again to add an drawing element. Bring it down to the bottom, just above the camera. And the Z. A square fill, click on the fill bucket like that. Right click, extend exposure to frame 100. As you can see, we've now got this. It's called little animation. And one last element that we want to add, we can do a couple more things, but this is the main one is some lightning. So I'm just going to use yellow, but like I said, you can just Um, it's a gradient or whatever, whatever thing you think looks cool. Um, if you click on this icon and hold it down, that's how you get the sub menu. I'm just gonna have a brush. I don't want smoothness, but increase the maximum size and the minimum size so that we go. And then we're just gonna draw some lightning. Put it below the clouds. And then just and then just go throughout it. I'm just going to do this quickly. I like my tutorials. I like to do them quick and just get the basic point across. And you can extend on it how you feel. You should do. Um, you see drawing 5, if we right click and press duplicate element so it's now at the top here, it's grey put it above and we're going to get a lighter colour than what we've got for instance this colour fill it white and what we're going to do is select all the cells that are in between the lightning. So basically, what we're doing is cre we're creating some flashes. Does that make sense, people? So now we will play this. get a cool little thing. Well that's the end of part one. I'm going to do a part two just to go into some more detail because I would like to go into more depth.